Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalisa and this is Homemade Sunshine. So I have another thrift haul for you guys today. I promise I don't just only thrift all the time, but I got some beautiful, wonderful, feminine, girly things for spring. My mom and I went this week. We spent an average between both stores, a dollar on everything. One store is 50 cents and then one store is $2, roughly an item. So we got some really killer stuff today and I can't wait to show you. There's some really sweet things. So first, um, any guesses as to what this is? This is one of those plastic bag holders that, you know, you like cinch up top and then you can pull them out from the bottom, which if it, I can't tell if you know that it's wet on camera, but I did wash this and it's hanging on my drying rack. Everything's been washed today. So some of it's a little damp if it's been on the drying rack, but I got one and my mom got one and I just love this feminine lavender pink rose sort of a pattern. Absolutely stunning. There was a bunch of these of like different sh like sizes and lengths and different all sorts of different patterns but we just picked the two patterns that we really liked. Um, I also picked up this Maurice's skirt which I am not a big Maurice's girl if I'm gonna be honest. I don't own anything from them other than this skirt but it was 100% cotton and so feminine cottage core it's this completely cotton white eyelet lace maxi skirt look at that look at that edging it's fully lined which i love i hate 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 when a maxi skirt is only partially lined um and like the bottom part is sheer or like it's only lined like basically a mini skirt length and then the rest of it's totally sheer i'm like what's the point of wearing a maxi skirt if it's not going to be fully lined but that's just my gripe maybe other people don't care about that but anyways I just love the feminine look of this. Um, this is definitely not for short girls. Um, I'm almost 5'6", and it is quite long on me, but I think it's going to be absolutely beautiful, and I love that. This item did not end up fitting me, but I'm still going to share it because I believe it's going to fit my mom. I think this is a boutique item. It says it's a size small. Um, I would say it's more of a medium, but look at the intricate detailing on this beautiful knit sweater. First off, look at these sleeves these beautiful flowers and then the little ruffle right on the sleeve and the beautiful knit detail work throughout the bodice and especially along the midsection trim. It's incredible. It's stunning. I think, I don't know if it's cotton or if it's acrylic. Let me see. Cotton acrylic blend, but I didn't even see this little tag until I tried it on. So it says down here that it's a small book. I don't know. We both took a gamble because we thought, eh, it should fit somebody. So hopefully my fingers are crossed that it fits her because this is one of those perfect sweaters for spring transition time when it's like March and it's still cold, but you want to wear something like more springy. This is perfect for that. I also picked up this lovely vintage blouse from George and it is another feminine dreamy shirt. It is a button down blouse with these beautiful slightly gathered sleeves so it makes a little puff on the shoulder and this beautiful retro floral fabric it has a small peplum which peplum of course if you've heard is coming back in style so flirty little peplum and it has a tie so this is a vintage large so which they say is a 1214 i'm telling y'all does this look like a modern 1214 maybe in kids but because it has that bottom tie at the bottom, it actually helps to cinch it in. So it's like a little bit big up top, but it cinches at the bottom. Looks so good with a white jean skirt. I've already tried it. And look, this is the quality that we're missing today. These are beautiful fabric covered buttons. I am in love. I thought it was absolutely perfect and just lovely for spring. I believe it's all cotton too. Yep, 100% cotton. This is the cotton, cotton thrift haul. I also picked up this is workshop which i think is like a marshall's tj maxx sort of a thing this stunning light blue full button down shirt with these little i don't know what you call those little white embroidered light shapes i don't know what that you call that shape with just a small little sleeve that is cuffed i love the gathers in the back this is also just stunning very feminine very pretty easy to pair with a lot of other things. And then let's move into some more of the home items. So I didn't get a ton of home items, but I got a lot of textiles. So 
the first thing that I'm gonna show you is crazy. Now this is not of the season, but when I saw the tag, which I'm trying to flip to, I could have died. So this is an UGG home blanket. I know, so it's not very big. It's like a lap sized blanket. It's maroon, burgundy. So like I said, it's not like super big, but the back side is this lovely fleecy fabric. I haven't looked up to see how much this is. If I have, by the time I put up this video, I'll insert it here. Cause I'm just curious how much something like this is normally, but it's amazing. I could not believe, um, like I said, the average of everything we bought was two dollars or no the average of everything we bought was a dollar each this one was actually only even labeled two dollars which is crazy um i will also say another thing we picked up was we got three really recent like basically probably the last three editions of better homes and gardens that they had this year um because our one thrift store prices um magazines three for a quarter so it's so cheap and it's a great way to find magazines and it's also when they're like still relatively new. So I picked up a vintage queen sheet set in this lovely minty green. It is um, percale cotton. Oh, here's the tag, good. I was hoping I wouldn't have to try to remember that. It is no iron percale and it is made in the USA, which is awesome. I am looking forward to trying this out on my bed. It didn't come with the shams, which is totally fine with me because I don't usually use most of the shams anyways, so I'm glad to not have to actually deal with any more shams. Next, I have, oh, where's the other one? I might have to go grab it really quick because I think I might have left it, but I'll show you the first one anyways. Um, I got two Waverly shams. So these are beautiful vintage Waverly shams with these beautiful hydrangeas, the yellow polka dots, the blue and white polka dot contrasting trim. I am obsessed with and let me go see where the other one is okay I'm back so um I forgot to bring this one in I air dried these they're supposed to be dry clean only which um I was not going to do so I washed them on delicate and air dried them on my porch and they look crisp as ever so this is the other one so they coordinate really well together and I love getting a balance cheap you can see how they the patterns are similar the coloration is very close and it's just absolutely incredible. So two beautiful balances for a dollar each. I'm in love. And then this last item, I'll have to see if my mom will insert hers because she found both of these. Um, I'll try to get her to take a picture or two so I can insert them here. But she got two beautiful hand quilted handmade items. Hers is like a runner that's reversible, very cute. And then I got this beautiful baby blanket. It's amazing. Let me kind of stand up so I can show you. So it's all just different colored stripes, but the bottom is the best part. So let me kind of pull up to that part. Look at this with these little critters all along the bottom. They're just so Precious, absolutely, absolutely precious. And this beautiful pink, just fuzzy background is amazing. I could not believe it. Like I said, a dollar. I mean, <laughs> it's beautiful and it has clearly been taken care of well. There's no spots, there's no stains, there's no tears. You know, sometimes you have to worry about that with a baby blanket specifically, but it's just absolutely gorgeous and then now i'm going to show you what i got on the 90 percent off easter hobby lobby clearance um since i didn't get a whole ton thrifted this week i thought i'd share with you guys what i got on the easter 90 percent off my mom found the majority of this i'm not gonna lie the city where i live closest to their hobby lobby gets shopped hard for like everything and then my mom goes to hers and like they have like completely full shelves of stuff so Get started i'll show you guys some of those things i'm very excited it's a good hodgepodge of different items and some i can still use now so this is a little bunny trio originally 13.99 so it was a dollar 40. i love them i love their little weird 
whiskers that are all curly. They're very fun. And then next, this beautiful floral pick. So it's normally $17.99, which is um, insane. So a buck 80. Love this as just a beautiful filler for next spring. Now this one I picked up at mine. Most of these are gonna be from my mom. So this one was originally doo -doo -doo, $8.99. So I was not too bad in the first place, but 89 cents. This lovely pink, yellow, and green garland with the little speckling on the eggs. I just think it's so lovely. And basically everything I got multiplied by two and my mom got one of them too. So I got some Ritz hand towels for uh, 99 cents. They were so pretty. One side is a little gingham bunny. The other side is just a pretty plaid. I also just got a regular kitchen dish towel. This was originally $6.99, so 69 cents. I was about to say $69, that'd be a little crazy. And then I got this beautiful little egg dish. It's $4.99 originally, so it was 49 cents. You have to be really careful when you pick up ceramics at Hobby Lobby because they tend to chip. So when you're in the store, I'd be very careful that you pick up something that's not chipped. Now you can see all of my egg palooza we've got going on here. I got a ton of filler eggs. I had none. This was the main thing I was looking for at the sale. So I bought some of these. My mom bought some of these. She had more variety at her store, but um, this was only 59 cents. So originally $5.99, just some beautiful pastel, pink, purple, blue, yellow, green eggs. This one's a little bit fancier, more pizzazz. It was originally $6.99, so 69 cents for these floral painted eggs. I love these. These are what I'd say are the more natural looking ones. These were $7.99 because they're bigger, but they were 79 cents. They've got these beautiful speckles. These I love. My mom got these at her store and I thought they were incredible, which they're stuck to another item right now. There we go. These were originally $11.99, so the most expensive of the bunch, $1.19. Look how stinking cute these are. I love the plaid. I'm just gonna be honest, I love spring, I love Easter decorating, like if, like this is my vibe, you know? I like really feminine things, I like very girly colors and all of that sort of thing, so this is my favorite stuff to decorate with. This little ceramic egg basket was 89 cents, so first off, look how precious that is. If you're wondering what those holes are for, oh, let me slide it. There we go. It lights up! Isn't that just so cute? I just love it. I think it's so precious. I love the pastels. I love the woven with the basket. We picked up these, which um, I actually talked to my mom. We were FaceTiming while she was at her store. So I talked her into this. This is originally $12.99, so $1.30. This beautiful mini wreath. So you can hang it up as a wreath or you can turn it this way and use it under a candle, which like, and I'm talking like you have like a pedestal candle and then like put it up underneath of this, like kind of, kind of like that. So. This is super duper lovely. She's already got hers underneath the candle and it looks super cute. My mom picked us up this 50 pastel light set, which you could use this for so many different things. Um, I don't see the price on it though. Oh, originally $8.99, so it's 89 cents. You could use this for so many things. I thought like you could even just hang this up in a little kid's room. You know, it's just, there's nothing Eastery about it. Got a little extra bunny egg. So I have one of these from last year that says bunny. This one says hop for 39 cents, which is so awesome. My store was already sold out of these. I know they're, they're like Ray Dunn inspired, I guess. And I have to say, if you see stuff in this Easter haul and you're like, oh, I wish I could have gone to Hobby Lobby for Easter. Y'all, half this stuff I saw last year, like a lot of this, they bring in new stuff, but they repeat a lot of stuff like the Ray Dunn egg or like their filler eggs. They do a lot of the same stuff year to year. So if you see something and you're like, oh, I wish I could have picked that up. Like I promise you it's probably gonna be there next year or at least a similar enough variation of it. Okay, so here's a few more things here. Got this sweet little truck that says Hello Peeps with a little bunny butt for 49 cents. I just think this is so precious. And you might think like, but this looks really cute mixed with other decor. So I'm really excited about that. This beautiful little bunny for 59 cents instead of 5.99. I love that floral detailing on here. And I like that it doesn't actually have a face because sometimes I feel like 
some of the ones that they did that had like eyes, sometimes they look a little creepy. I don't know, that's just me. Like if they don't get the eyes right, it can look kind of scary. Okay, so last few things here. I got this little metal basket. It was originally $10.99, so it was $1.09, I guess, um, with this beautiful little thing. So if you're wondering what the heck are you gonna do with those, my plan, I got a hair on my face, is to fill this with like some of the eggs and put it out on display like that next year, which is gonna be so precious. Picked up a little tulip at my store and one for my mom. It's got this really neat texture to it and a little bit of glitter. And it was originally $3.99, so it was 39 cents. So like dirt cheap. She's got hers up on her um, kitchen sink. I got a little cottontail sweet little treat jar. This is originally $3.59, so just 36 cents. I mean, you can't beat that. It's so cute, just plain metal on the inside. Just super sweet decor. I got one yard pick. They had these big Easter egg yard picks, but when my mom and I were looking at them, I kind of thought like, I don't know if you'd be able to tell from the road that they were eggs. They would just look like gigantic circles in our yard. So I was like, eh. But I got this sweet little bunny with his little flowers. Uh, originally $10.99, so $1.09. So precious. And last but not least, the most practical item, a set of 10 paperless towels for a buck 50. So these are just cleaning cloths. I actually needed some new ones and you know, this is a cheap way to get it. So I just have to say, showing all of this to say, like when a new season comes around, try your darndest, if you're trying to save money, to not just like go out and buy as soon as Hobby Lobby starts hitting the shelves with these things because I mean, you saw the amount that I was able to get between two stores um, after the sale. I mean, and then you're getting it for pennies on the dollar and if something breaks or one of these towels gets really stained or something like that, I'm not gonna be like super upset about it because I didn't pay like $15 for it or even half price for some of these would have still been higher. I'm paying change or dollar amounts for all of these. So it helps it to be a little bit less precious. It's not as upsetting if something gets messed up or broken because it's not like Hobby Lobby's like the epitome of high quality or anything. So very excited with my little haul. I love all the beautiful colors, just looking at them here on the floor. So that's my haul for today. Leave me a comment down below. Do you shop when Hobby Lobby does 90% off? And in relation to the thrift haul, what is the thing that you have a hard time resisting picking up? Because for me, it's anything quilted, y'all. If it's quilted, if it's handmade quilted, I will pick it up if it's cheap. It's just, I cannot resist it. Um, the craftsmanship and the work that goes into it is just so much. And for it to only, for me to get it for a dollar, I feel so lucky and so blessed. So I will see you guys next week. Bye.